Striking. 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 Struck. So, uh, that Jack is new. Yeah, it's a phone club hanging out, huh? Alright, dude. I was driving my car, and this nun totally flipped me off, man. Dude, you should've ran her over. Man. Yeah. Oh, it sucks, because she eventually got hit by a truck. She had it coming. <laughs> All right, listen up, speed queens. We only got one month until the festival, and we don't even have a script. We got a lot to go through, and let's hope they're better than last week's sorry excuses for screenplays. Hey, Jude. Well, my script is about a guy, and he owns a bar. He knows this girl, but he hasn't seen her in years. So, it's an exterior shot of the bar. And then it cuts to... A close-up of the couple kissing, and you can see the passion in their eyes. And then the boat explodes, and the bodies are everywhere, and the plane tries to land on it, but you know, it just exploded. So it crashes into the water, and everybody in the plane is like... <gasps> the prince rides in on his steed to rescue the fair maiden, but upon his arrival... She's naked. The entire movie climaxes in this epic showdown, and his head explodes. All right, so my film is not something simple where you can just point and shoot. Walking around, and he's all like, "I'm a guy." Blah, blah, blah. Now we gotta get this three-point key lighting, so it makes it look totally fucking hot, man. I'm telling you, this girl is smoking a cigarette, and he's blowing it around, and he says. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, what we'll do is we'll get uh, we'll get some meat all together and uh, we'll put a little bomb inside. And we'll set everybody step back like 40 feet and then like we'll blow it up and the meat will just go flying everywhere in this giant meaty fucking explosion. First, we're gonna crease up the lens a little bit to give it that. That nice old-fashioned romantic type Humphrey Bogarty look like that, you know what I'm saying? So they're in the middle of a crowded street. And they totally start doing it, man! Oh my god, it's awesome! It's awesome! That's so great! And the plane is like oh. I I left the, I left in the car. Is this the, uh, film club? Yes, it is! But if you don't have a good script, you might as well just get out. Uh, okay. Whatever, sit down. You can't be any worse than these lint filters. Well, guys, my dog wrote a script last week that was better than yours, but, uh, he ain't here right now. So I guess we just have to do mine for the festival. What? Silence! This meeting is adjourned. You guys better be ready next week. Since last week was an exercise in stupidity, we're gonna move directly into the production of my film. Oh, wait, I, I think I, I have an idea. Uh, yeah, all right, whatever. <sighs> Hi, uh, my name's Wyatt.
Fantasy Night Terrors. Yeah, that's a great choice. Actually, we're seeing Le Gomer de la Belline. That's the French screening of The Squid and the Whale, in case you didn't know. I can't believe we're seeing night terrors. Hot date, guys? <laughs> Huh. Must be Hollywood calling. Hello? What? Mom, I told you, 32 DVD, not 23 VHS. The 21st century won't tolerate VHS. Get with the times, it's not the 80s anymore. Can't believe nobody laughed when I read the part about the banana and the plunger. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Hey. So, uh, where's Evan? Oh, uh, you know, Hollywood. I guess that means uh, he left you here alone. Yeah. Oh, I meant to tell you after the meeting, but we were in a hurry. I really liked your script. Thanks. It's too bad we couldn't use yours. It'd be nice to do something different for a change. Thanks. I, I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, there's Eric. I, I guess my ride's here. Okay. I'll see you at the shoot tomorrow. Take me to your leader, bitch! Cut, cut, cut! Jude, what's your motivation in this scene? I don't know, Evan. I'm a cowboy. No, 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 no! You're Robert Marmaduke Hightower, and you're absolutely furious that Captain Cutting Brittle stole your cowboy boots last Sunday. <sighs> Whatever, Evan. Well, my dad's here, so I'm gonna go pick up my lunch. Set up the next scene while I'm gone. Hello, Dad. Hello, Evan. Is everything working out in your favor? Of course everything's in my favor, but it's not how I want it. God, it's so hard to be so precise when you're working with these, these Fishmongers! Well, let me tell you about a time when things weren't exactly working out in my favor. The year was 1974, and I was in the fifth grade. Yeah, whatever, Dad. Bye. All right, ladies, back to work. What scene is this again? Scene eight, shot 16A. High Towers building his boat, and you walk in. Action. What in tarnation? I am building my boat. Leave me alone, woman. 
all you ever do anymore is slave over that dumb boat. Why don't you go round up the kids or something? Cut, 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 cut! The line is, how about you go round up the kids, woman? Whatever, Evan. Way to overact, Jackie. Maybe if you knew how to work with people, he wouldn't be screwing up his lines. I love people. What are you talking about? I, I love my mom. She's people. I love Steven Spielberg. He's people. I love Eric. He's people. Of course you love Eric. He doesn't talk. With the exception of your mom and Steven Spielberg, he's the only person you'd be willing to listen to, and that's because he doesn't say anything. Come on, Eric. You heard me. I told her that I love you. to expect. Yeah. 